what's up everybody VR gamer dude here and today they expect me to die again that's right so today we're gonna be obviously checking out I expect you to die from shell games and man I gotta tell you I love this game I've loved this game in every iteration that I've played it in it, I, I it feels like I've been playing this for years you know it started as a oculus share demo way back in the DK2 days you had the one level with the car and it's been awesome to see this game grow over that time into what it is now so I've played it the DK2, I've played it in the CV1, and today, man, we're going to play it in the Oculus Quest, and I am super, super excited for that. So, alright, let's get our secret agent hat on, let's get in there, and let's see if I can survive, I expect you to die. All right, here we are, but before we get started, you will notice this is a seated experience. So I'm not saying you can't play it standing up, but you know, since this was originally crafted back in the DK2 days, well, that, you know, we didn't stand up. We didn't walk around the room. So this is not a room scale experience, guys. So, all right, I am seated comfortably. I am looking forward. Uh, I've already calibrated, so let's go. Oh, it's been a while since I played this, but I forgot this had one of the coolest intros ever. And man, this looks good in the screen of the quest. Can't escape me ah. We're playing a game you take from me, I take from you. But every game ends and when I expect, I expect you, you to die. I expect you to die. I expect you to die. Love it. Uh, this is so cool. You know, I want to think this was one of the, the, the first games that had like one of these really awesome cinematic intros that I just was wowed by. That voice in your ear. On a board, I bet with my wealth, my armies of dreams. Your every success unveils still greater schemes. A lake full of acid, a drill from the sky. If you try Bring to it. fight me, we'll watch your hopes die. Lasers and, lasers. With sharks, and sharks, sharks with lasers. There we go. We got it. Very, very cool. Totally forgot about the intro. Welcome to the Enhanced Operative Division. I am your assigned handler and support agent. We're going to be fast friends, I have no doubt. Your new implants allow you to use telekinetic abilities to manipulate the world around you. Back when I was a field agent, we had to pick things up the old-fashioned way. Fumbling for it after our third martini. Damn straight. I find testing your spine to be an absolute joy, don't you? Oh, absolutely. And try leaning left. Okay. Sometimes I... Now that we're finished with calisthenics, let's move on to dexterity. Press the button under your index finger. Uh, like this button right here? You found the trigger button. Fully extending that same index finger is what we call pointing. Very useful for pressing buttons. Turn your head to the left. Try pressing. It seems you have a grip on those controls. I've left you a very cryptic note by the projector. Try picking it up 
using the grip or... Good. Now, I don't normally condone the use of fire indoors. Fire! Fire! But what the fire! Pick up the lighter on your left and use your left hand to press the Y button or right hand to press the B button to light it. Use Y or B. Aha. Excellent. Let's practice aiming with your new telekinetic powers. Push forward on the thumbstick. It's below your thumb. The circle that appears is where you're aiming. If it turns blue, you can pick up the object by using the grip button. Pick up the object we just sent you through the door. Okay. Now that you have the target, pull the thumbstick. You're a natural. While still I am a natural, and I know I'm kind of cutting this off a little bit, but, you know, and I've use your thumb like to press the A times. button. That's the button closer to you. The target will... Well done. I wish we could afford real plans, but our dry martini budget is disproportionate to, well, everything else. Yeah, exactly. So you now, keep the martinis coming. Don't worry about the, uh, over the, the chair. targets here. Excellent work. Let's try one more if you're right, feeling more. frisky. Hover I'm always the third feeling frisky. Over the round table to your right. Well placed. Now, there's only one thing we do to targets around here. Well, two if you count placing them. Pick up the gun next to you and try shooting a target by Pick pressing the, the B or Y button up. with your thumb. Alright. Two. Great. Pow. Pow. Yes. You've nice. passed the test. Now, opening drawers and compartments will be instrumental in navigating the various desks you may encounter on your dangerous missions. Grab the top drawer handle to your right with the grip button and open it. Excellent. I'll unlock the training slide rail from the projector after you retrieve your new mission from the door. Target. To unlock the training slides, grab your first mission from the door. Okay. Well done. Feel free to explore your new office. When you're ready, put in Operation Friendly Skies to begin that mission. All right, so there you have it. So we've gotten through a little bit of the training. That was a little redundant for me, but you know, for people who haven't played this game, I, I kind of wanted you guys to see that. So obviously Shell Games has done a really good job from back in the day with being intuitive on how to actually manipulate things. Well done. A lot of that was pulled over from your the... New office. Yeah, I get, you, I get you here. Put in... Let's take that out so you stop talking. So, you know, it was all uh, kind of back into to the old Xbox controller days and then obviously it got a fresh coat of paint with the CV1 and we got hands and things like that um, so yeah uh, so this is just literally giving you um, the calibration so we can calibrate the headset if we need to and let's see here uh, and returning to headquarters at any time but we're obviously not going to want to do that so we've got some different radio stations here <laughs> I thought it was funny. Let's see if you can still do it. Yeah, back in the day. I'll light the whole place on fire here. Aha! Burn! Burn! Burning down the house. My house. Alright, I'll stop. Alright, so let's go ahead and get on with it here. Um, we've got Operation Friendly Skies, so let's go ahead and load it up. We're calling this mission... Operation Friendly Skies. I hope you like cars and airplanes. And cars in airplanes. Oh, I do. Dr. Zor, corporate billionaire by day, underhanded villain by night, has a cargo plane scheduled to depart for Zanzibar this very evening. Zanzibar? We need you to infiltrate the plane before it takes off, gain access to the vehicle held within, and drive it right off the airplane. Our intel assures us Zor's car is equipped to handle a fall from any height, so we're almost positive you won't die. Okay, but you expected Press me to start die. Button to begin your so, mission. So, you know, if I did, I guess I would be meeting expectations, right? So, okay, so this is kind of cool because this is where this game completely started back in the DK2 days, as I referenced earlier. So it was just this level. You were just in the car, uh, in the airplane. So, all right, let's give her a look. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, it's been a long time since I've been in this car. <laughs> You may be wondering why this car can never reach Zanzibar. 
It has some of the most high-tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, we'd like to poke at it a bit. Drive it off the plane, and you may just earn that vacation you're always going Sweet, on Sweet, man. I need a vacation. Like, so bad. So, okay, you know, real quick before we get started, this is just awesome. I mean, being back in this familiar environment, but in the updated optics and the updated resolution of the quest, it, it just looks so much better. I mean, now, you know, I can say yeah, it's a little muted. Uh, I, I do want to remember that maybe the wood grain looked a little more polished, like the textures were a little bit better in the CV-1 version. But something about the higher resolution and the fact that I don't have god rays, like, beaming into my eyes from every freaking direction just makes this shine. So, all right, enough blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and get on with it. Now, it's been a long time since I've played this, so bear with me. They expect me to die a couple of times. I'm probably sure that's going to happen, but let's see if I can remember the sequence here. So, all right, let's go ahead and open that. Got some money and a pocket knife. Oh, got a stogie there. We got some booze, some glasses. Um, so. Okay, nothing there. Let's see. Can I smoke my stogie? You know. Smoking may cause a slow and painful that death. That would be really cool. I've always said that, you know, I'd love to see developers use the microphone. Oh, hold on. Got a little itch here. Uh, I'd love to see the developers use the microphones here to actually, like, give that action, you know, with stuff like that, or, like, in the cold where you see your breath, um, things like that. So, uh, really, really interesting if they could do that. Okay, so, let's see here. What do we got? Instructions. Okay, that's the instructions on how to defuse the bomb. What we got there? Uh, auto deploy parachute included. Put that there. All right. So there's the key. So let's go ahead and start the car. There we go. I think that Intruder means detected. first hurdle is down. Set I for retina scan. Oh, hey. There you go. Scan away. Scan failed. Uh oh. Targeting. That's right. Laser you ain't getting me with your secret laser beams. Countermeasures. Uh oh. <laughs> oh the, the old bomb. ticking bomb. I'm partial to plastic explosives myself, okay. but you must respect the classics. I believe diffusing bombs is covered in basic training, yes? Um, it is. Okay, one, two, three. Um, so. One. Oh, no! I didn't go fast enough. Alright, well, like I said, they expected me to die. I'm gonna die. So, alright. I'm not gonna wait. <laughs> you That's may wonder why this car can never reach Zanzibar. Intruder it has some detected. of the most high tech weaponry in Dr. Zor's considerable arsenal. Naturally, Scan we'd field. like to yeah. poke at it a bit. Drive Lame. it off the plane, and you may just go on that vacation you're always going on. Oh, I get it. How to arm <laughs> your bomb. Oh, the old ticking <laughs> bomb. <laughs> I'm partial to plastic explosives okay. myself, but you must respect the classics. Uh, I know, believe diffusing bombs is covered in basic training, yes? That uh, just goes to show you, you gotta pay attention. Don't try to rush through it. Okay, so let's go th three, two, one. Aha! No ticking is good ticking, as they say. Now, can we please focus on getting the car out of the plane? Uh, we're working on it, bro. I'm just going to tidy up my work area here. Got a lot of cash in here. Oh, we got some. We got some of that. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Um, let's see. We got more money down there. Smoke grenades. Okay, a faulty cannon reset system. Uh oh. No, 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 raise the window. Raise the window.
<laughs> Whew, that was close. Okay. So. Okay, so we gotta reset the cannon. System resetting. Weapons online. Okay. That does nothing. Aha! Um, maybe I should... There we go. What's this one? Auto-deploy parachute. Deploy next message. Sure, there is an what? Matter we discuss. Contact me on a secure line immediately. Okay. You know, I can't say that I ever found that next message. last time. Hi, Dr. Zor. I'm from Future Villain You Scout, uh, and I'm calling to let you know we're running an evilicious one-day special on eight evilicious. almond cookies. Uh, Only 15 calories and 27 grams of cyanide per serving. I'm nice. sure you're gonna love these. Call me back. It's Tixie. Uh, that's great. Let's oh, see. Is there more? Next message. We uh, may have an issue with Operation Toxic Rain. Mm -hmm. I'll keep you posted. A little early to celebrate, don't you think? No, it's never too early to celebrate, bro. All right, there we go. Okay, so I think, is this it? Is this all I need to do? Let's get the cannon again. Let's put all those in there. Nice. A bit unconventional, but then again, convention never was your strong suit. You'd nope. better drive the car off the plane before something else explodes. All right. Parachutes deployed. There we go. Mission complete. Four minutes and 14 Another seconds. successful mission. Now, about that vacation. I'm afraid I lied about that. But That's I not believe cool, hard bro. work is its own reward, don't you? Okay. Well, if you say so. I see you brought back some explosive souvenirs. Nothing wrong with that, I suppose. Keep it up. We finished dissecting Zor's car, and only two technicians died in the process. A new record. Nice. A few of Zor's car phone messages were from the head of a pharmaceutical company that produces lady shampoo. I hope they have plenty on hand, because things are about to get hairy. <laughs> okay. And dirty. Thus the, the, the need for the shampoo. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, anyway, we get it. your next mission is waiting for you at the door when you're ready. Okay, but you know, I think we are gonna put a pin in it right here, guys, because I don't want to make these videos too long. But man, shell games, every time I play this, I love it even more. So thank you, thank you, thank you for bringing this to the quest. So you guys, let me know what you think down in the comments, man. Let's talk about this one. But for me, that's going to do it. But before I go, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching to the end of the video. If you did, you guys know that means the world to me. And if this was your first time coming by the channel, guys, thank you so much for coming by and checking out what I do here at VR Gamer, dude. You know, I, I, I've been doing this for a long time and I do it all for you guys. So. Have a look through my videos over on my main page, man. I got stuff going all the way back to the DK2 days. Probably have this from back then as well. Uh, you can do a little compare and contrast. And if you like what you see, smash that subscribe. Hit that like, you know, hit the bell. Get notified next time I put out a video or go live or whatever the hell I'm going to do in VR. I'd love to take you with me. And of course, if you're already a subscriber here on the channel, man, thank you so much, guys. We are just, we're, we're growing again, and I, I owe that all to each and every one of you. So thank you, thank you, thank you, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I really want to see 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and you guys are helping me make that possible. So for me, I'm out. This is VR Gamer, dude. 
Signing off, y'all. Peace.